Okay, so this very last one asks you to um, do some shading. And we've never done any shading before. So let's go back and look at That's kind of what your graph should look like. And the question is asking you to shade the spots where Dwight Howard um, would win the scoring title. So that would mean he would score more than, more than, 46 points, right? Greater than 46 points. So if we go back to our graph then and shade it in, you should be thinking, so where are points that he would that he would win? Well, I'll just put one on here that he wouldn't win. If he made 10 free throws and 10 field goals, that dot would be right there. That would not be winning. If he made 20 field goals and or, I'm sorry, 20 free throws and two field goals, that would not be winning. But if he made, let's say, 50 free throws and 20 field goals, let me do a different color for that. That would be tw 50 f um, free throws, 20 field goals, that would be over here. That would be winning. So would 30, field 30 free throws and 20 field goals, that would be winning. In fact, I think anything above the line would be winning. So we're just going to shade that in then. We're going to shade in above the line. So we're just going to shade all of this. Anything that's shaded in would be considered winning. Anything above the line. Okay. This is our very first um, inequality that we've shaded in. But that's how you'd represent it. Everything's shaded in. Now I've got a couple blank spots, but you get the idea there. That would be considered winning.